probably about 100 million people affected with dementia where it's a very distressing disease for families and for patients. The new innovations to try and detect the disease early relate to specialized blood tests called biomarkers and then we can identify those people who are going to develop dementia and then give them the treatment. If you look at how AI is impacting health, what we're seeing is the ability to be able to diagnose people much earlier compared to in the past. Therefore, it's going to influence us because these are the type of technology that we want to be able to look to how to be able to fund for our customers, optimizing some of the disease therapies that's available to them. We are leveraging AI for our data analysis. So AI is not, not doing anything that's actually new for us but it's actually helping us uh, analyzing the data way more efficiently. You know, AI technologies are here already in healthcare um, and it's, the field is, is advancing very rapidly. AI will not have as big of an impact in healthcare unless physicians, nurses, healthcare administrators uh, learn and understand more about, uh, about these technologies because uh, they're, they're not gonna replace doctors, uh, for example, but uh, quite frankly, physicians and nurses who use uh, these technologies, AI and technologies, will replace those who don't. Most discovery is made by young people. The importance of creating opportunities for young people to gain early independence and to be adequately supported to pursue their curiosity in whatever direction that may take is the key to success. The value of what innovation can bring in the healthcare space is actually the ability for it to improve patient outcome, quality of life, what we really explored was not only sort of the challenges and understanding them, but also confronting them in healthcare um, and how it's so important that actually we collaborate across various industries. True innovation requires partnerships. So it's truly a, a multidisciplinary effort to go from a science discovery to a treatment. These diseases are global challenges. They're not just disease of one country and so a global partnership solution is needed. I think there's massive opportunities for collaboration between places like my centre in London and, and European and American centres uh, and Hong Kong and China. I think this is a, a really brilliant conference to bring together all of the different stakeholders that are required to take a discovery through to innovation, through to treatment. Well, it's very exciting to be in Hong Kong and to participate in this uh, Asian Global Health Summit. It's really exciting to be able to see these technologies that are available here that are coming into Asia.